You know, I think most of us would agree that one of the places we would think would be the most safe is our own home. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. And that is what rings true about Jan's story. Now, Jan is a 72-year-old woman who lives at her home with her World War II veteran husband who's in a wheelchair. And one evening after he had gone to sleep, it was just Jan and their Rottweiler. She heard some scuffles and some rumbles at the door and couldn't figure out what was happening. Until she looked up, the dog was barking furiously. Someone was trying to break in. Despite the dog, Jan grabbed the revolver that she'd had for years and called 911. Now the whole incident was actually captured on the 911 call. And you can hear Jan telling the dispatcher, there's someone trying to break into my home. Please be warned, I've got a gun. Please get the deputies here as soon as possible. And as she pleads for help, the man breaks through. And Jan does exactly as she said, she fires the gun. Now, Jan's incredible story sparked a lot of media attention because people were really surprised that this 72-year-old woman would be so knowledgeable and so clear of mind that she could protect herself and her husband. It was also intriguing that this man still tried to break through with that dog barking at him. Who knows what he was up to? And who knows what might have happened had she not fired that shot? Now, Jan actually admitted that as a youngster, she was quite a tomboy and actually knew a lot about firearms. She wasn't quite sure that she would be strong enough in her older years, but she proved everybody, including herself, wrong. But she did have an interesting quote about the scenario. Here's what she had to say. I don't mean to shoot anybody, but whatever's necessary to literally stop them, he was not going to come into my home. Now, I know her husband was also super surprised, but very proud that she was able to pick up that gun and use it in such a life-threatening moment of crisis. And honestly, that's what we all hope never will happen, but that's what we all prepare for nevertheless. It's so refreshing that Jan's story ended with a happy ending. And of course, that's what we hope for everyone's story if you're training and using your firearm. Now, if you like this video, please like and share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe so you can hear lots of great information right here every week. Until then, stay safe and be well armed.